The benefit of plastinated models for Carlton University is that there's simply no better way to understand anatomy than to actually have your hands-on approach or to have a hands-on approach. And one of the, the issues with this, of course, is that we're interested in human anatomy here. So what, what can we use as, as a, actual hands-on material? Well, as it turns out now, the sort of the newest and the, the coolest, and I, I think in my mind, the, the best things that we have at the moment are, are these plastinated uh, human models uh, because they, they recapitulate the human form exactly as it is. So whereas you could use, for example, simulations or you could use plaster models or something like that, they simply don't have the same tactile feel and there's no better way of learning anatomy than not just by visually by how it looks but, but also by how it feels. And what these plastinated specimens would give us is a, a perfect sort of re recapitulation of the human form and, and in that way it gives the students an opportunity that, that otherwise would not be available. Well I really think this will draw students into Carlton because if you look at, at most undergraduate programs the resources available for undergraduate anatomy and physiology are somewhat limited, so it, it, it relies upon simulations or, or models or, or other types of dissection, for example. But what this would do in, in terms of having plastinated human models at Carlton would be it would give our students an advantage and a, an opportunity to actually feel human tissue that has been prepared in such a way that it is, is non-toxic and, and is very durable and very hard wearing, but it gives them that chance that they probably wouldn't get in many other undergraduate programs. I'm very excited at the thought of having plastinated human models in our classroom. They're simply, in, in my mind, this is the absolute best tool that, that we could provide our undergrads with in order to, to discover human anatomy. Well, I think what excites me most about having plastinated models in the classroom is that um, we'll be able to have a model that we can actually look at and really see in 3D. A lot of the times, our, whenever we're looking at plastinated models, they're online. Uh, so we don't really get the same feel as when they're in person and we can see how dynamic the structures are in a three-dimensional point of view. And I think that would be really awesome for uh, our educational experience, especially with human anatomy. I think it's important to support the uh, acquisition of plastinates for Carleton University because it's going to give uh, uh, us as professors unparalleled opportunities to teach new, uh, teach anatomy and physiology in new and exciting ways to our students. The most exciting aspect of plastinate specimens is the fact that they're real tissue. They're not plastic, they're not uh, paintings, they're not two-dimensional. They're actual real human tissue. And this is going to allow us to teach something as compl complex as anatomy and physiology, that's complex in terms of the texture, the three-dimensional structures, the structure-function relationships in new and exciting ways. These specimens are an excellent long-term investment for Carleton because the lifespan of these particular specimens is on the order of decades, if not longer. Um, whereas uh, conventional models will often wear out more rapidly. So it's, these specimens will give us um, uh, a lot of bang for our buck, as they say. All indicators so far is that enrollment in our new health sciences programs are going to increase from year to year for the foreseeable future. Health sciences is something that students coming to Carleton are interested in and are very excited about pursuing.